Hey everyone, Silicat2 here. Welcome back to more Golden Sun The Lost Age. In the last episode, we got out of Venus Lighthouse. And now we are playing as Jenna, and we need to get to Ida Jima before Satros and Minari cause an earthquake. So let us go. No, oh, first things. Alright, now we're ready. <laughs> I gotta be the one to wait for backup. Yeah, please just let me go. And hey, that scary little guy with the blue hair is not with you. Great, now you'll see what I'm really made of. Meet the ruffian. He has 29 HP and he's weak to everything. So just go all out with you, man. He's dead. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh yeah, they say funny things when you talk to them after you knock them over. Whoa, it's the... Whoa there, where'd the blue-haired guy go? Who cares, I can handle some girl and her grandpa. <clears throat> nope, Chuck cast us. Shouldn't have underestimated her. Gah! Shut up, washing machine! Anyway, it's Suhala Gate again! Awesome memory! Yay! <laughs> that was a good idea waiting here for him. You two aren't going anywhere. Except with us back to Master Item. Yeah, no. As you can see, their physical attacks aren't even that strong. I mean, oh, what the heck? If you can't beat a teenage girl, I feel sorry for you. <laughs> anyway, there we go. Got this stuff there. Maybe I should have even bigger breath. Alright, so maybe you are going somewhere after all. Man, here's my big promotion! Alright, onward to the caves. Whoa! What's this thing? This is a new monster, it's unique to the Lost Stage. This is the Punch Ant. He has 26 HP, he's weak to fire, and all he can really do is attack you physically. So just take him out with steam like you took out the ruffians, and we are good to go. My, that was invigorating. He wasn't too strong. I never knew fighting could be so fun. Uh, but we'd better get onto the peninsula. Jenny got a synergy stone! <coughs> WHY ARE THE TREES SO TINY?! WHAT?! This is the place, isn't it? NOPE! Peninsula at the end of the rock to the west, that's what he told us. This must be Idejima. Idejima, excuse me. Hmm, but I already said a ship will be here. Yeah, so if we can find it. Jenna, it's over here. Glance, it seems like a normal ship, but something <laughs> odd about it. Create him! Wait! Oh, I swear, you're like a kid with a new toy. Hurry up in there! What's wrong? It's missing. What are you talking about? The thingy that makes it go. Well, that's pretty great. What do you mean? What's so important about this thingy? Bo can't move without it. There, Minardi! She tricked us! Tricked us? Yeah, my best! You stole bird off on us! There is no trick. If this bow's a dud, how did it get here in the first place? Oh, right. Like... <laughs> Oh, 
Let's defend the orb. What orb? Don't you remember that crystal Sakura's was carrying? That big black pearl thing? I certainly said it could move the ship with it. Jenna, Kratom. There you are. I see you found the boat. You set sail as soon as the beacon has been fired, correct? Jenny? Where is it? The beacon. It hasn't been lit yet. That's right. Why is it taking so long? Why didn't my brother return? They've done it, Jenna! They've lit the beacon! <laughs> What's happening, Kraven? Why won't the ground stop shaking? Strange. I think it might actually be getting worse. I think the lighthouse is collapsing! Look! The ground around it is crumbling! Mercury lighthouse didn't react this way. What makes Venus different? Now this tremor to a rift in the Suhala range! How are you gonna get back to Gondor now?! Itajima, it's drifting away from the mainland. What happened to us? Look at that! Jenna and Kraven are flowing a foot above the ground on their backs. What? <laughs> Who does this game think I am? Chugga Conroy? <laughs> Admittedly, I have been shouting a lot, but... <laughs> Satan. I don't want you to silence in your drift. I don't know. I wish you could tell me. Jeez, there are no fucking times like this. <coughs> hey, I'm hungry. How can you even think about food? Maybe what happened to my brother. I can't be certain, but it looks like they left the Venus beacon. Yeah, I know. You don't have to tell me that. That's how he wound up a drifted seat, right? Why aren't you cranky today, Jenna? Well, I suppose we're just worried about the arts. I spend the others must have known the layouts too. I suspect you're right. I miss some music feelings. Come with me. There's something I wish to show you. Sheba! Felix! Sheba! They're, they're alive! They were really alive! What is this? Alex, yeah, what happened? I thought Felix and Sheba were still inside the lighthouse. This is miraculous. There's no, really no, I'm just happy my brother's alive. What happened back there? Sheba. Thank the omens. She's awake. Sheba, are you alright? It's me, Jenna. Jenna? What happened? It seems you drifted here with Felix. With Felix? Take your time. Do you feel alright, Sheba? Where are we? Kijachina, we were all to meet you, but now the Ilex is floating away from Goblin. This island is moving? I know it must be very hard to believe, Shiva. When the Venus lighthouse was where a massive tremor tore us off the continent. Down beneath the light lighthouse roll as though it might crumble away. I remember now, and that's what carried us away from Gondolin. But what happened to you, Shiva? You were in the sea and sat for us. Sapphires and Minardi are gone. What do you mean? Another group came. They fought Sapphires and Minardi and won. Was it Isaac? Isaac. Yes, I think that's what they called him. Do you expect me to believe Isaac and his companions defeated Sapphires and Minardi? Have they really grown so powerful in so short a time? But how'd you wind up in the sea? When the beacon was lit, the earthquake knocked me off the lighthouse tower. What's my brother doing here? He tried to save you from drowning. Felix jumped from the top of a lighthouse? Dear me! Felix, are you awake? Ah, Felix, you're awake! Brother... Are you sure you should be standing? 
you don't seem very surprised to find yourself on a floating island. Still, once you say she will, you must have swum out with correct? You must have seen that the island was floating when you were swimming. But what do we do now? I have no idea. Nobody knows what lies down the eastern sea. Unfortunately, I am a student of alchemy, not geography. What is it? What? What's the matter? Can't you see it? It's land! An island! It's a little big for an island. That's no island! It's a new continent! The same! So it seems. Wait. What is it? We're gonna pass north of the continent. <laughs> She's right! I don't think we're gonna make it. Oh, Trayden, Felix, what are we gonna do? Oh. This can't be good. What is it? It's a tidal wave. A tidal wave? The earthquake must have caused it. Oh, oh my. It's coming right at us! Alex, how can you stay so calm in a time like this? At times like this, where would be the good in panicking? Will we rush away? Help! <laughs> You don't check your full boundaries? Nah. You walk around a bit and everything seems fine. What? What am I doing down here? Oh, I must have blacked out in the way too. Hey, we bit land! The wind must have carried us here, what luck! Have you checked everyone else? Are they alright? Let's go find him and get off this island. Should I join the party? And now I would like to mention what Sire G. Fields has. He is a clone of Isaac. That's really all there is to say. The oh. wave! What happened to the tidal wave? So we are done for, but we're all fine. We're in front of the ground. That tidal wave turned out to be a stroke of luck. I wonder where we are. We should take a look around. Shiba, join your party! Shiba is kind of like Ivan, except that she can't equip swords. All she can equip are, I believe, stabs and maces. Yeah, that seems about right. <clears throat> she is a windseer, just like Ivan, though. And Jenna is a flame user. Let's just leave Crane behind. Hey, Felix! Dang it. You weren't planning on leaving me, were you? Hmm? Well, let's land! The wave carried us back ashore! I assume you nearly forgot about me in your excitement. Understandable, but you should have waited for me, Felix. Nevertheless, let's be on our way. By the way, where's Alex now? He doesn't seem to be anywhere on the island. He doesn't seem to sell on his own, do you? No! Well, he's no longer on Uta Juma at any rate. He might have found a look for a ship. Alex on ship? Did you forget what he was saying? No! Then you know he wants to restore Alex into the world. By letting the four element of lighthouses, he might just succeed. But why a ship? The remaining two lighthouses are unreachable by land. None remain to be built across the eastern sea. So what should we... We must go to the Great Western Sea. What's the sea? Is that what we're going to it? No! I want to just hang out here the rest of my life! Don't be foolish, Phil. We want to pursue Alex. We have to go there. That's right! Our parents' lives depend on it! What about you, Shiva? <coughs> what do you mean? It's not going to be an easy trip. There's no reason you should have to face that thing, right, Felix? Nope! Shark Pasta! Felix remembers. I have a reason to be traveling with you. What do you mean, Shiva? What reason? It's my destiny. This quest is your destiny? And you couldn't tell us about this earlier? But how can we trust one you when we don't know why you're with us? I'm sorry, but 
please, you have to take me. You must, you need me. I don't understand. Why exactly do we need you? You know who I am an addict, don't you? I can control the wind, as field seller knows. You knew she was a wind addict? Uh, no. Separate, Mr. Miller, even though he never told you. They saw I was the wind addict right away. They kidnapped me for my powers. They need them on their journey. Oh yeah, they would have needed an alignment that complemented their own. They said they were near a wind addict in order to light you to his beacon. Ah, of course. And I suspect we'll need your power there as well. So you see, you do need me. Alright, I can stand this one off. But you want to know what she means by destiny too, don't you? No! Oh, so it's just me? Too bad I can't read minds like Sheba, huh? I'm sure she'll tell us in her own time. Won't you, Sheba? I think we're only should simply trust Sheba. Now, I am quite famished. Shall we get moving? <laughs> okay. So, in the next episode of Golden Sun The Lost Age, we will be exploring this new continent! See you guys then!